name is Gabby, and welcome back for another episode of Teen Reads Tuesday. I'm a little closer to on time this week. Um, we had some big construction equipment going in the backyard, so the house was really, really noisy, and I wanted to make sure that you can hear me talk about these awesome books, so we had to do it just a little later. Thanks for waiting for me. So today, I want to share uh, first a book that I recently finished reading and absolutely loved, like five-star review on Goodreads. Okay, guys? So I recently finished reading Sick Kids in Love by Hannah Moskowitz. Sick Kids in Love is the story of Isabel, a teenager with rheumatoid arthritis. And that is a chronic illness that affects your joints. Uh, so everything from your fingers to your knees to your hips, things like that. So it's really hard for her to do a lot of the activities that her friends like to do, and sometimes she feels left out. Uh, on her school newspaper, her column is called Sick Girl Wants to Know. So she goes around and interviews anyone and everyone. She is not shy about talking to people. And she asks them really cool questions. Um, not just your typical, what's your favorite color? Um, a lot of the things are about their hometown of New York. So that is a huge part of her identity, is being sick girl. The other part of her identity is her one rule, which is no dating. But she begins to rethink that part when she meets a boy named Sasha at the hospital where she gets her uh, transfusions. He's getting them also, and they strike up a conversation. He is cute, funny, and he understands Isabel in a way that no one else in her life does because Sasha is also chronically ill. This book is a great look at chronic illness and what it is like to live with chronic illness as a teenager. Uh, this is also an own voices story, so we used that term last week, and it's when the author and the character have similar stories or perspectives. So the author of this story, Hannah Moskowitz, also has a chronic illness. Uh, this story is perfect for fans of John Green's The Fault in Our Stars, the love story of chronically ill teens Hazel and August. Um, but unlike The Fault in Our Stars, Sick Kids in Love Won't Make You Cry, okay? It even says right on the cover, they both live in this one. So you're good for reading Sick Kids in Love, okay? <laughs> However, John Green writes another story about living with an illness in Turtles All the Way Down. Turtles All the Way Down is the story of 16-year-old Aza, who lives with a mental health condition that she refers to as ever-tightening thought spirals. And we would typically, based on the way she talks about it, it's something along the lines of anxiety and possibly a obsessive compulsive disorder. So Aza also becomes wrapped up in trying to find the local billionaire who recently disappeared. But that billionaire happens to be the dad of her childhood best friend, Davis. So she has some tightening spirals going on in her mind as well as in her physical life. Um, and I'll be really honest with you, I listened to the audiobook of Turtles All the Way Down, which was really, really great. Highly recommend. But the book has one of the most intense hospital scenes that I have ever read. It really puts you in Aza's mind on what's going on, and it's a little scary, but it is very well done. So I want to share one more book with you today uh, that features teenagers living with illness, and that is the Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds. Uh, in this story, when Jack meets Kate at a party, sparks are flying and they are falling in love. But then Kate dies. The end. I'm just kidding. Jack suddenly finds himself sent back in time to when he and Kate first met. So he's at that party all over again. And Kate is happy and healthy and alive. And then she dies again. Kate has sickle cell anemia, which is a disorder of the blood. So Jack is sent back to their meeting at that party over and over and over again. And he is trying to prevent Kate's death. He's trying to find a cure. He's trying to get her to see the right doctor and get the right medicine. He's trying to correct mistakes because he keeps messing up along the way and hurting his friends and family members who are close to him. 
and make new choices, right? So ones that get to the right ending for him so that he can get back to falling in love. These are all some stories about teenagers living with illness, um, a mental illness, a physical illness, chronic illness, because those are some very interesting perspectives that we don't often hear about in our mainstream media, but they are very real and very important stories. So I highly encourage you to check out any of these books and more, of course. All of these are available at the Hedberg Public Library, and several of these are available on Hoopla and Overdrive as well. So you can check them out and download them if you prefer to do it that way. Be sure to tune in next week, Tuesday, hopefully on time, for another Teen Reads Tuesday right here on Facebook Live. See you then.